this movie we will work on this delete button so when I hover on this delete button you can see in the bottom left side of my browser that this one got the ID is equal to 4 this one ID is equal to 5 and then this one is equal to 6 so let me show you the structure of this posts page so going down here you can see this anchor tag for deleting post button on line 160 which is working same as edit post dot php with the search query parameter was id so same here we have the search query parameter id and we are equating the id so by using this id we can go to this page of delete post dot php and by that page we can delete our post so the structure and the code of edit post dot php can be used in this file of delete post dot php because the operation will be different the rest of the code will be same so this file of edit post dot php i'm gonna save this file as delete post dot php now first in this file changing its title also h1 heading and then for publish we will have our delete and the btn class will be danger for the red color so now if i browse this page you can see this delete button instead of tick let's add some other font awesome so i will go with fas fa dash trash icon so refreshing my page see this delete button here okay that's it now instead of making these fields visible showing the content in a edit mode I will apply the disable class on every single field and also instead of fetching the choose category we don't have to fetch this table of choose category because this page will be act as a preview so we don't have to show this choose category field here so also this field of select image I'm gonna remove choose category and select image field this is our field of input so i will remove this div of custom file and then we have this div of form group in which we have existing category so we don't have to show this whole choose category select and fetching from database so removing this one as well now here let's remove this form equal to form dash group so we don't need this mb dash one if we make it correct so right in this input field I will apply disabled attribute so if I save this one and refresh my page so now I cannot click on this post title it's disabled let's also do the same thing for our post so going down here you can see this post text area making it disabled so saving this one refreshing my page now you can see this one is also not editable or clickable now let's work on removing the unnecessary code from our file so when this submit button will be clicked we don't have to get these fields because we are not editing our post we will just delete our post so removing this bunch of code from here and also we don't have to add these validations so 
removing these validations from here and we will not have the else block and removing all of this so this belong to this ending so removing this unnecessary curly brace so this one belong to this one this one is for this one and this one has the ending at line 19 so instead of query update we will have query to delete our post in db when everything is fine so now it's time to write our sql for deleting our post we already have this search query parameter out of the scope of this submit button so before writing our sql we have to change the action attribute of our form so going down to my form here you can see on line 105 instead of i did post we will have delete post.php id will be same and then we will echo the search query parameter then going on top now here on line 9 i will add one variable with the name of sql and this variable will have our delete query so it will be delete from my table of posts where id column is equal to my search query parameter so same like edit post we will take this search query parameter id and then we will say to our sql that only delete that record where this id is entered then on the next line we will execute our query and we don't have to move the uploaded files so removing this line from here so if i save this one and make it to post deleted successfully okay so this is it for deleting our post so if i save this one and first of all let's refresh this page to bring the new php so if i click on this delete button you can see post deleted successfully now let's also delete this post which has the title of this is a second post delete click on this delete button see now that post of second also deleted let's also delete this third one click delete now third post has deleted as well so that's how we delete our post but when we are deleting our post our image is not deleting from our directory of uploads if i can show you real quick inside my upload folder you can still see this 3.jpg and 3dwall.jpg so for a better demonstration let me select some image which is unique here for example this image of sky blue background its name is html course.jpg so if i delete this post with this image delete click delete now that post is not here anymore but our image is still in the directory which is not good right so in the next movie we will work on this case which will make our cms to delete the image when the associated post got removed by admin from the admin panel